So open up Cider Press, you know, move it to where you want to on the screen. Select File, not Help, File, New, and Disk Image. Click on that, and then you want to select the 32 megabyte. I tend to like to specify size. Give it a name. This will be your ProDOS name inside the file. Now give it a name. This will be your Windows name uh, saved to wherever you save it. In my case, I save it to the desktop. There it is, right there. We just created a 32 meg hard drive. Problem being is it's a PO, ProDOS ordered file. Some emulators have difficulties with this, so we'll go back into Cider Press. We'll use Tools, Disk Image Converter. And we will open up our YouTube and make sure that it's now going to save as a 2MG. This seems to be the most compatible with uh, all the emulators that are out there, 2MG. So we can delete this one because we know that's the old PO one. We, now we have our 2MG. 2MG. So we have a brand new 32 megabyte asterisk.2mg uh, ProDOS image. Let's try it out in the old Apple Win. See what we get. Oh, we get nothing. Unable to load ProDOS. Anyone in the crowd know why? Well, it's very straightforward. All we have on this hard drive is literally a bare bones data disk at this time. If we look at another one, you'll notice it has the ProDOS file. So we've got to make sure that our newly created hard drive gets ProDOS on it so we can boot it. Now that we've got our drive set up, let's reboot the machine. And we'll use Copy2 Plus because it's so handy. And we will copy files from the first drive to our newly created 32 meg. We want ProDOS and basic.system. This will give you a bootable machine that you will have a cursor once it starts. So now we've booted our new YouTube hard drive. And when you look at that, it has ProDOS and Basic System on it. It is now a bootable 32 megabyte image. You can, uh, you know, create any program to your heart's content and save it here now if you'd like, or you can add to it. I think we should probably add a splash screen. What do you think? Because it's pretty boring as is. So we'll set a splash screen on there that's going to show us an image. And uh, when it's done, it'll enter Bitsy by, so we'll be able to select whatever we want to select. Back to copy to plus, copy files from slot 7 to slot 7 drive 2. Let's grab a, hmm, let's get my display routine. Display double high res, we'll copy that over. Then we'll copy more files from slot 1, slot 7 drive 1 to slot 7 drive 2. Let's get a picture, uh, something abstract. Yeah, let's go with the abstract one we created in the, the Buckshot video, abstract 23. Okay, so now we have a picture and a display routine on our YouTube drive. What do we get? Nothing. Why? Well, we haven't actually assembled the system file yet, so that's what we'll do. But first off, let's just check, make sure everything's working. Loaded our picture, we ran our display routine. Now we press a key and hey, it takes us to Bitsy by exactly what we want it to do. So let's go back into the command prompt, basic system. Load up our picture file. Load up our display routine. Jump into the monitor and we'll set the beginning of the picture to jump to 6000 because we know that the display routine is housed at 6000 in memory. So we've got to jump there. It does screw up the first three bytes of the picture, but uh, I think you can live without it when you see the finished product. So now we know that everything's uh, in memory. This, the routine is there at 6,000. 
So, oh, there's our JSR to BF00, which is our ProDOS quit. 65 is a quit, and then our command list, parameter list, whatever you want to call it. I call it a command list. So we're going to create splash.system, and you want to specify tsys, type sys. Then you save it as splash.system, a string 2000, length string, well, 4070, give or take. And you want to save it as a type sys. Now when we do a cat, we have our new splash system right there, 34 blocks. It's a system file, and let's do a reboot by uh, selecting ProDOS. Oh, hey, wow, our splash didn't display. What's going on? You see, when you're in ProDOS, it'll execute ProDOS, and then it'll look for the very next uh, system file, and it finds basic system. So we end up running basic system. Back into copy two plus, we sort our catalog for drive two, ProDOS, then splash system, then basic system. Now, what do you think will happen? Because we've got ProDOS, and remember, it'll run the next system file that it finds, and now we have splash system as our next file. Do you think we're going to get the results that you're expecting? Well, you look at that. We did. That's amazing. Just amazing. Now we can go back into our catalog and we don't need the picture or the display routine anymore because they're wrapped up in the system file. So we'll delete them, unlock them, delete them. Do a catalog because we forget where we're at now. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Lock her up, and let's do another catalog. Looks good. It's looking good. Reboot. Boom, there's your picture. Spacebar takes you to Bitsy Bye.